Hi, I'm Doug Rougea. And I'm Casey Carl. And together we are Two, two guys, guys in Lab, lab coats. coats. And this is a home video workshop. In this video, we're going to teach you something fun and neato and coolo and wacky -o. All right, old Duggo. This is going to be fun. It's a workshop, but we're not going to tell you exactly what it is yet. First, we're going to tell you what this video is not, not about. about. This video is not about hat tricks. Huh. This video is not about juggling. No juggling. This is not a video about bicycle stunts. This is not a video about donkeys. No donkeys. This is not a music video. This video is not about two guys in lab coats blowing bubbles into beautiful and artistic designs. Uh, uh. This video is about two guys in lab coats blowing bubbles into beautiful and artistic designs. Oh! <laughs> then we should get started. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I can't believe I blew my lines. <laughs> and now we're ready to begin our home bubble workshop. Casey and I... And now we're ready to begin our home bubble workshop. Doug and I are performers. We are comic bubbleologists. We perform on stage all over the country. We will share with you today bubbleology secrets. We're going to teach you how you can create pictures with bubbles, sculptures, works of art with bubbles stuck together until they look like something. And the best thing about it is you can do it in the house. There's no mess involved. You can create bubbles in the home in a controlled environment and your parents won't ask you to go outside. Remember about the mess. Keep it neat and clean and follow along with this tape. And, and by, by the, the end, end of it, it you will, will be a bubbleologist too. Now we're going to tell you what you need for the workshop. It's not complicated. They're very simple tools. And here they are. First you'll need some bubble juice. Homemade, like we'll show you in a moment, or a good store-bought kind. You'll need a cookie tray or a similar flat tray. Cookie trays are probably the best thing for you to use. Nice and flat, lots of space. You can make lots of really neat designs on a big open space. You can use other things too. Look, a cereal bowl, a pie tin. You will need a straw. Bendable is better than a straight straw. Straight straw? Bendable straw. Bendable straws have that little elbow thing that goes kick, 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 kick. Really cool. And when you're working with bubbles, it's great to be able to put the short end in the soap. And you will need a bubble wand from a regular bubble jar. Or you can make your own with a pipe wrench. Well, what do you mean? Oh, oh. Well, you can use a pipe cleaner. Bubble wand? Everyone has one of these, probably. If you don't, you can make one from a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaners. Bend them around, create an opening at one end, a little hoop, and before you know it, you've got your very own bubble wand. It's as simple as that. You will also need a large towel for under the tray to avoid that mess. Towel. Fashion show. Towel. Okay. And of course you're going to need patience and practice to learn all the amazing things that we want to teach you. And that's all, folks. Now, I can't show you patience and practice. That's something that has to come from inside of you. But I'm sure all of you have it. Now, Doug and I promised a special homemade recipe that we use to create bubble art. We're going to go up to the laboratory and mix that up now. Actually, it's the kitchen. Let's go. 
And I promised you a recipe that you could write down, so here it comes. Stand by to pause the video and write this down. Here it is. We're using water, dishwashing liquid, and a product called glycerin. Glycerin can be found in most pharmacies. We're going to use the water first to fill up to 10 ounces. Try not to spill. Eight, nine, 10 ounces. If I add one ounce to 10 ounces, I should have 11 ounces when I get done. 11 ounces of liquid. You don't want to mix it hard to create foam. Now we've got our solution. We need to be able to transport it, carry it from the kitchen to wherever we're doing our work. I got an idea for that, Casey. Oh, look, Doug's here. What's your idea for moving the solution? We can find a container in the recycling bin that we can use. Ah, yes, a jar. If you can find a jar in the recycling bin, use it. Take the lid off and... Clean it up. Clean it out. I you, can clean it up. Yeah. You don't want things left in the jar that'll mix in the solution. Doug's going to wash it out with warm water and dishwashing liquid. You don't want to use anything but what you're using to make the bubbles with. Because you don't want to get anything in there that's not supposed to be in there. That's what makes good solutions. Hey, we're bubbleologists. We have figured all this out. And now we're telling you. You want a sealed container not only to keep it from spilling, but so the, the solution doesn't evaporate. It's made up of mostly water. Water tends to evaporate into the air. And if that happens, your solution will get thick and gooey and syrupy and you can pour it on your pancakes. But that's not good for bubbles. Bubbles need to have a nice recipe that doesn't evaporate. So keep it in a sealed container and it will last you a long time. I'll need my solution for the workshop. The wand and the straw we were talking about. Wands, excellent. A towel? Yeah, towel is good. And any kind of flat little dish. Beautiful, that's a good choice. Doug's going to go set up in front of the television so he can watch the video and do the creations that we're going to teach you. You set up in front of the TV with your towel and everything. Take just enough bubble soap to cover the bottom of the pan. Cap it so you don't spill it and you can use it later. Take your wand and your straw. Do a little propeller thing, and you're ready to play along. Okay, now that you have everything you need for the workshop and have mixed or bought your solutions, we are ready to begin to create bubble art. We're now ready to Doug's begin. Here. Yes, we're ready to begin. Oh, uh, Doug, please, not on the table. Sorry. Uh, I was talking about the cat, Doug. The oh. cat. Okay. Thank you. This workshop is done in five segments. We suggest that you practice at the end of each segment before moving on to the next step. That's very important. And in this first segment, we're not even going to need the wand. We're going to use just the straw for the first, second, and maybe the third segment. So set the wands aside for now. In this first segment, you're going to learn to control your breath to create a single bubble dome on the surface of your soapy stuff. You need to wet down the sides of your tray so that the bubble won't pop on the dry sides. Dry things pop bubbles. Wetting down the tray is something we're going to do at the beginning of each section. You need to have a straw that's wet all the way up to the elbow. If you get any soap in the straw, just pour it out. Now in this segment, we're going to create a single bubble on the surface of the water. Watch Doug as he creates a single bubble dome. Good, nicely done. Now it looks easy, but it's actually a little tricky to make one bubble. Many of you, the first time you do this, will make lots of bubbles something like this. <laughs> this is fun, but it's easy. It doesn't take any skill. You can fill the whole dish with bubbles like this, it's just that it's messy and will keep you from being able to do the things that we want to teach you. Get rid of those bubbles using your dry fingers. You think of your fingers as erasers. You've got five on each hand. As long as they're dry, they'll pop those bubbles. 
getting rid of bubbles that aren't supposed to be there is just as important as blowing ones that are supposed to be there. Start with your straw in the soap and then pull it up out of the soap to create one bubble dome. Just like that. Perfect size. That's the size each of you should be able to make. You can make one bigger than that too if you'd like. That's fine. How big of a bubble can you make? Can you fill your whole tray with one single bubble? Ooh, cool. Now pause the tape and practice that segment. And when you're ready, join us for the next step. It'll be fun, we promise. Promise. <laughs> Now that you can make a single bubble with controlled breath on the surface of the bubble soap, we can begin to link them together to make simple bubble pictures. Right, by sticking different size bubble domes together until they look like something. It's as simple as that. But remember, always wet down the side of your dish when it begins to become dry. That's very, very important. The bubbles will pop on a dry dish. Now the first bubble picture you can make has a bubble dome right in the center of your dish with a little one attached to the side of it. And what does it look like to you? I think it looks like an igloo and this is where you go in over here. Yeah, or this can be a turtle with his head sticking out of the water. Yeah, oh no, no, a ladybug because of the colors on the back. If you add another little bubble the same size as the second one... Mickey! M-I-C-K-E-Y. Wait. There's Minnie, because uh, she wears a bow. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I, just stuck, I stuck one in the middle. Now, if you add a big one on one end of those three, and add another one to the other end, what can you see? That's a big toe. That's a clue. Big toe. It's a big foot. Big foot. Big foot. Big, 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 big foot. Or it's a cat's paw. I like cats. <laughs> Now with three bubble domes all together, this is our next bubble picture. You've all probably made one of these out of something else, out of snow. There he is, Frosty the Bubble Head. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do his head. Do, Spring do. time. Oh, I guess he thawed. <laughs> now the next one has a big bubble and then kind of a triangle. Oops. Oops. Side wasn't wet enough. Very important to keep the sides wet so that the bubbles don't pop. A big bubble on top, and then if you link together, kind of a triangle of changing bubbles, changing sides Look at of the bubbles. Yeah, it looks like a triangle down the sides. You get a bubble ice cream cone. Ice cream. Wait, no, I got a better idea. See if you can mm. tell. <gasps> That's an elephant. Elephant trunk, right here. Sure. Could be the Eiffel Tower. It's kind of falling over. Ah! Now, Start this fresh. is the toughest one. Start fresh. It's almost like you're drawing on a piece of paper. You can erase all the other bubbles and start fresh each time. This one takes a big bubble on the rim, and then a whole string of bubbles getting slightly smaller as you go around. This is the toughest one to do in this section. And what does it look like to you? It's a caterpillar, of course, or a snake. Now you can erase each one of those all around the ring. <laughs> cool. Now that was a lot of fun bubble pictures all at once. We want to pause and let you practice each one. And we want you to go in order, please. Oh, yeah, that's a very good idea. Start with the ladybug and work your way up to the caterpillar. We'll put a list up on the screen so you can remember what order to do them in. When you're done practicing each and every sculpture, join us for the next segment of our Bubble Home Workshop. We'll be waiting. <laughs> Hey, this helicopter thing is fun. It, we, oh, hey, we're back. We're back, and we're ready we're for back. the next segment. Yes, this segment 
is perhaps the most challenging of the sculptures on the surface of the solution. It requires a little extra skill and a little extra practice. Ready? You guys are ready for it. What we're going to be doing is making a bubble inside of a bubble Ooh. and a square bubble. Get out. Square no. bubble. Awesome. In order to place a bubble inside of another bubble, you need to start with one big bubble bink, on the surface of your solution. Make sure your straw is wet and you should be able to slide it into this other bubble without popping it. And then you can blow another bubble on the surface and you have a bubble inside a bubble. It's also possible to put a bubble inside a bubble inside a bubble. Try it, Doug. It doesn't always work. It's kind of tricky. Whoop! Oh, there it is! Yes! Bing, bing, bing! Nicely done. To make a square bubble, you need four bubbles approximately the same size stuck together in a form that allows you to place a fifth one right down the middle. Here it comes. That fifth bubble becomes flat-sided. A square bubble. It also kind of looks like a flower. Let me add another petal. And now we have a five-sided figure, a pentagon, and it looks even more like a flower. That is so cool. Six-sided would be a, uh, um, a um, six-sided six -sided thing. Figure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, a hexagon. Cool. Give it a try. Pause and practice these new fascinating designs. The bubble in the bubble and the square bubble flower combination. These are the toughest so far, so take your time. Yes, take some time. We'll be here waiting for you. Now in this section, we finally get to make bubbles with the bubble wand in, in conjunction with the straw. We're going to make bubbles in the air above your dish, not working on the surface of the soap anymore. But we're not using the wands the way you're used to using bubble wands. You know, dipping, <laughs> blowing, popping them. That's the kind of stuff that'll get you sent outside. We're going to be using the wands in a special way. See, blowing them is a no-brainer. It takes no skill. You don't need two, two guys, guys in, in lab, lab coats to teach you that. Watch, and we'll show you how to use these to create neat bubble art. In order to use the wand correctly for these designs, you need to first bend it slightly, and then dip it in your stuff and get it wet up to the part where it bends. Shake off the extra over your dish, and then wet down your straw. Your straw will be used to place a single bubble on your wand. Watch, Doug. One bubble on your wand instead of many bubbles blown in the air is what we're looking for. Once you get this bubble on your wand, please keep the wand a good four or five inches above the dish. If it gets too close, your bubble will <laughs> suck down there and go for a little sailing trip around the dish. Now we've done that part already, so keep your bubble above the dish far enough so it doesn't get stuck to the solution. Many of you have pipe cleaners out there today, and Doug's going to do the same thing again using the pipe cleaner. He's going to wet down the pipe cleaner, wet down the straw, and use the straw to blow a bubble onto the pipe cleaner. Whichever wand you use, you want to make a bubble about the size of a tennis ball. Bing! Mm -hmm. Ooh. Sorry. <sighs> if you want to make a slightly bigger bubble, it leads to a really neat trick. If you make a bubble about the size of a softball, or maybe a grapefruit, you can do the disappearing bubble trick. Here we go. That's where you pop the bubble right in the center of the bubble wand. Wee, 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 wee. Ha, <laughs> I love that. It's gone. Amaze your friends, amaze your family, amaze your dog. It shrinks to nothingness. We also want to show you and have you practice a bubble inside of a bubble on the bubble wand. We did one on the surface. This one's on the bubble wand. Put a bubble on your wand. Make sure your straw is good and wet. Slowly push it into the center. 
so that it doesn't pop it, and slowly blow a bubble inside, and then flick it off your straw. Look at that, a beautiful bubble inside of another beautiful bubble. Most of your bubbles will pop out of the bottom. Bing! That's okay. Some will pop in the middle. Yeah. And some will come right out the bottom. We'll show you a trick to keep that from happening. Most important thing about the bubble inside of the bubble is the bubble flick. The bubble flick is pulling the straw away sharply Boop. to the side. You just flick it off the edge of the straw. Flick! Without the bubble flick, the bubble inside of the bubble doesn't work very well at all. You can have a bubble on your wand, make a bubble inside of it, and if you pull the straw out slowly, oh, man, it can pop. Or sometimes if you pull the straw out too slowly, it'll even pull the inside bubble right out with it. Zing! Like that. That happens a lot. All you got to do is keep on practicing the bubble flick. Make a little bubble and very quickly, flick, flick it off the edge of your straw. Bing! The next bubble sculpture is the bubble chain. You make a whole chain of bubbles linked to your bubble wand above the dish. It's kind of like the caterpillar on the surface, except this one's in the air. You make each bubble below the one before it. Be careful Oop. that they don't... Yeah, that happens a lot. They tend to crawl up like that, but it's very easy to fix by using your eraser to take away the one you don't want. If you make each one smaller than the one before, they don't tend to crawl up as much. Look at that. Ah. A bubble chain of cool. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bubbles. It looks like a tail. Yeah, it's yeah. a tail. Let's pin the tail on Dougie. Dougie, no. Dougie, 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 Dougie. Oh, boink. right, right, right. Okay. Boink, boink, hey, boink, hey. boink. Boink, boink. Boink. Ah. Ah. But now, the most complicated and coolest bubble sculpture of them all. I love this one. It's the, the bubble, bubble spaceship. spaceship. You take two bubbles and put them on your bubble wands. About the same size, one underneath the other. And then you add a ring of bubbles right around the center. Doug's adding little bubbles to the middle of my two bubbles, like a belt. Once you've made enough bubbles to connect one end to the other, you've created the center of the spaceship, which will allow you to use your wet straw to push the spaceship and give it a spinning action. Or... It's spinning through the air. You can blow through the straw to get a real fast spin. That's like warp drive. Warp drive, Scotty. <laughs> We've given you quite a lot to do, so we're going to pause and let you practice. Go from simplest to hardest, all the way from the single bubble on the wand up to the incredible bubble spaceship. You can do it. Take your time. We'll give you a list so that you can go in the right order. Yes, hello. Do you deliver? Great! Hey, Doug, what do you want on your half? There's only anchovies in here. Oh, I did. Hello. In this section, we're going to do some bubbles that... We're going to do some bubbles... In this section, we're going to do some bubbles that you can do with a friend of yours. Right. These are bubbles you can do with a bubble buddy. Bubble buddies, like... Joe and me. It's Doug. What's Doug? I'm Doug. Oh, you, oh, you're Doug. I'm Doug. Doug and me. You need two wands, two straws, but only one dish of bubble soap between the two of you. The first game you should try with your bubble buddy is something we call the bubble toss and catch. Doug will blow a bubble off his straw, and I will catch it on my wet straw, and then return it to the dish. He'll continue blowing bubbles as quickly as he can. I will try to catch them and bring them back to the dish. When I miss a bubble, it'll become Doug's turn to try to catch... Oh, I missed. <laughs> Nicely done. You Lots kept him over though. the dish, but that was good. That was very good. He would try it next, catching, but instead we're going to move on to... Two bubbles inside of a bubble. With bubble buddies working together, you can simultaneously 
put two bubbles inside of a big bubble. You just both have to do the bubble flick. It's a little tricky. But hey, there hey, they, they are. Combined. Cool. Now we're going to try to make two different bubble chains. We'll each make our own chain and then connect them together. Wait till you see what happens. You need about the same number of bubbles in each chain. I'm going to make four. When you each have four, combine them together at the bottom by picking up the bottoms. Ooh. And then you've made... A bubble smile <laughs> with that big <laughs> toothy grin. Cool. Hey. And now if you gently pull apart from each end like a wishbone... It's a bubble contest. Ah. How many? Ah! I almost had six or seven of them. But I guess got one. Yes, I guess you had but the mine, most. Mine lasted. Cool. Mine lasted. So what did we show you? We showed you how to use bubbles together with a wand and straw to put bubbles inside of a bubble together. We showed bubble catch. Oh yeah, the toss and catch, and how to create two chains combined together to make a bubble smile, ending with the it's bubble wishbone. wishbone. There are other games you might be able to create with your bubble buddy. Whatever you create, of course, keep it clean, keep it neat, and keep it over the dish and towel. Have fun! Now that we're done with the workshop, and before we say our final goodbyes, we're going to take this chance to show you the best way to clean up your stuff. If you were working on a cookie tray, it's kind of awkward to carry it around. Yeah. So get a grown-up type person. Grown-up. Who's the grown-up? Uh, I'll be the grown-up. You pretend to be the grown-up. Good. I can okay. do that. Yes. Get a grown-up type person to carry it over. You can either dump it right in the sink, or if you have a, a wide mouth bowl like this one, you can dump it in that bowl, which will make it easier to dump it into the little jar. Now, if you have a smaller tray, like we were using here today, a pie dish, say, you can pour it directly into the wide mouth bowl as well. And again, because this bowl has a lip on it for pouring, we can easily then pour it back into the jar. You can cap it up and save your solution to have another bubble workshop on another day. If you don't have one of these bowls at home, well, you can use something like this. A large Tupperware kind of container. Pour your stuff into it and then use the corner of the container to pour back into the jar. Probably best to have a grown-up for that, too. Now we have to clean up the rest of this stuff. We have all this stuff. The towel, yeah. the wands, all the containers. We can handle this ourselves. Yeah, and you can handle it yourselves. But we get to do it a little quicker than you. Because this is, is a, a video. video. <laughs> Let's do it, Doug. <laughs> Ready? Ready. One, two, three, go. We just wanted to take a moment here at the very end of the Home Bubble Workshop to say thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us in your home to teach you these amazing bubble skills. You know the secrets now to bubble art. You don't need us any longer. So work on these creations. Maybe make some of your own. Be sure to name them. Doug and I are professional bubbleologists. We make a living with Bubble Mania, a soap bubble spectacular, performing on stages all over the place. We may be near you sometime. Keep an eye out. Until then, I'm Doug Rouget, and I'm Casey Carl, and today we're just two, two guys, guys in lab coats. <laughs>